Today we're going to start a new unit, which is our form and value unit. So the first thing we're going to do is do a little exercise to create different changes in value using different techniques and different mediums. So you're going to need your sketchbook, you're going to need your ruler, your eraser, 6B pencil, regular pencil, a black pen, Crayola marker, vine charcoal and blending stick. Now the only thing you don't have in your kit is that black pen. Um, if you really don't have a black pen floating around at home, feel free to use the black colored pencil um, out of your kit. First thing we're going to do is we're going to grab a ruler and we're going to create four stripes across the page. These are going to be where we put our changes in value. So top, bottom, do that four times down across the page. Then because it does some of these techniques take a while, you can shorten your strip a little bit by putting ends to your strips on the left side and the right side just to make them a little bit shorter. It saves you a little bit of time when you go to do the, the actual techniques. We're going to start with the 6B pencil. So we're going to do a pencil blend. So this is the blending technique. And so you're going to take that pencil and you're going to start in on the left side laying in a thick layer of pencil. So this takes a decent amount of pressure. You don't want to break the pencil, but some good pressure on there. And then as you go over to the right, you get lighter and lighter. You see my hand move to the end of the pencil to get lighter. Grab that blending stick and blend it on out. Then the next one is also blending, but this one's with charcoal. So it's the same basic idea. I'm going to lay in the charcoal nice and thick on the left side, kind of using a decent amount of pressure. And then as I move over toward the right side, it's going to get a little bit lighter as I go. And once again, I'm going to blend that out using the blending stick. You can use your eraser to clean it up a little bit if you want. Then the next one is stippling. Now this is a very different kind of technique. It's kind of cool. It takes a little bit longer. So you're going to grab that Crayola black marker and you're going to start by laying in just, you're going to color in solid black just a little bit on that left side. So once you have some solid black in there, then you're going to start to dot. And so this is what stippling is. It's a bunch of dots. And so the thicker and the more dots you have, the darker the color. And as you move over to the right, you're going to have less dots, but they're also going to be smaller dots. So you can have a little less pressure going on there. You don't want to kill your marker here. You don't want to end up with a stubby marker. It's not like you have to beat it. But you do want to have some thicker dots on that left side, more of them. And then as you go over to the right, less and less and smaller and smaller. And you'll get that kind of change in value, that fade going on there. The last one we're going to do is using that black pen. And so this is called cross hatching. And so this is a traditional way of creating shading when you're working with ink um, or something called etchings, which is a print method. So you, what you do essentially is you create diagonal lines in one direction and then you switch directions and you go diagonal the other direction. And the more lines you lay in, the darker the color, the less lines, the lighter the color. So on the right there, you're going to be laying in lots and lots of diagonal lines back and forth. And the more you go back and forth and the more you lay in, the more solid it can get. So you're going to do that on the left side. And then as you work your way over to the right, you have fewer and fewer diagonal lines and less layering. And you'll see that it gets super light on that right side. After you've completed the four different techniques with the four mediums, you're going to label it. So you're going to put pencil blend at the top. And then you're going to put charcoal blend for the next one. Then that third one down was marker stippling. And then, of course, the last one is the pen, which is cross hatching. So after you've labeled your drawing, you're going to snap a picture of it. And then, of course, that picture is going to be uploaded for today's daily process. If you have any questions, let me know and have fun with this.